Hello and welcome to another InfoSync World Review. Today we're hitting the runway with the HTC Flyer and taking off into the stratosphere of awesome tablature. This is probably my favorite tablet I've seen all year based on its interface, its performance, its features, it's just top notch. You're not gonna see me much in this review. I'll give you some specs and then we're just jumping into a plethora of tablet goodness. This is a seven inch screen, brilliant screen resolution, but it's kind of on the smaller side, especially for a Wi-Fi only model. But Sprint customers are the lucky ones. They get the HTC Evo View, which is basically this with 4G connectivity for Sprint. The flyer has a 1.5 gigahertz processor. It's single core, but it's faster than the dual core tablets we've seen this year. It did not skip a beat. It was the best performing tablet of the year so far. We have a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera and in the back we have a 5 megapixel main camera with 720p HD video quality. This tablet's main Achilles heel was its image performance. Um, quality was just really not up to par. Videos looked like glorified 640 by 480 VGA videos and um, image quality just did not hack it. This tablet lacks a flash and that's part of the reason, but most of the reason is because of this darn thing sensor. But to balance that out with the plus, battery life on this tablet is fantastic. It's still going strong. Let's see, it is Tuesday. I charged it last Friday um, and it's just been, it's got about 30% of a battery life left. So it's just, this thing will go like the Energizer Bunny. We've got 16 gigabytes of internal storage. There's a micro SD card slot that could hold up to 32 two gigabyte cards. One of the best things about the HTC Flyer was its optical pen. You could basically use this as a notebook, you could use it as a scribble pad. It's Android with HTC Sense, but this is the best version of HTC Sense we've seen to date. And we're going to check that out in the tour right now. You notice right off the bat the lock screen has changed. It's a ring that you toss into space and it takes you to your centrifuge or your Rolodex of nine different home screens. And uh, these basically can hold a bunch of different icons or they can hold one widget. We'll get to the widgets in a little bit. But we're going back to the lock screen. And you'll notice that there are four icons here that are completely customizable. And uh, what you can do is just tap one, drag it into the ring and right from the lock screen, it will go right into it. Now we'll drag down the drop down menu and you'll notice it's separated into three different compartments. We have recently used applications and there are notifications and quick settings. Down here at the bottom, we have three customizable shortcuts as well. And we also have the personalize and the applications menu. In the applications menu here, we have HTC slider controls. And we have all of our applications, we have frequent applications, and we also have all the applications that we downloaded. So there's more organization on that front. Let's go into the browser here, and I'll show you even more organization. Holy cow. Here's one of our, one of our reviews, and um, this browser is amazing. It just loads everything like a computer would. It's got the latest flash. It just plays perfectly, syncs right up. There's no audio lag at all with this. And we've also got a great window management system here. So we could just pop in, access any of the windows, and here we are loading a flash heavy website. I mean, this is just filled with flash. It's got videos, graphics, pictures, and um, it just does an excellent job. Great, great browser on this machine. Now let's pop over to some of the widgets here. These are our favorite people. Um, also we have HTC Watch. This is for the movie buffs out there. This is in widget form here, and this is basically allows you to stream um, purchase and stream movies to your flyer and that's kind of handy if you're especially if you're on the road now here is my shelf in my shelf we can find various titles uh, that are already preloaded on this on this device but uh, look at the graphic intricacies here for page loading I mean we can manipulate the page using a multiple axis um, plane here and that is just really kind of that HTC touch that we love to see from this company but now we're going to entrust the mighty pen and we're going to jump into 
notes here and show you just what's involved with this pen situation. Uh, we have a full color spread here. We could choose the color of our writing utensil. There's also the type of writing utensil. We could do a marker, eraser, calligraphy pen, pencil, etc. We could also select the thickness of the stroke. Yes, it totally is. Now to erase, you press and hold this top button and uh, scribble about. And if you want to highlight, which we'll get to later, you press the, and hold down this button. But let's do some erasing here. Now say we take a picture, but we're really not happy with the content. It just didn't have enough. We could draw things like a purple bunny with green ears and a green body. And uh, we could also, um, you know, give it a label or something. Let's give it a calligraphy label and white or something. Lib bunny. That's a little, a little hard to see, so we'll... Lib bunny. And, um, using this button here on the bottom, you can highlight what we've written. I think this just about sums it up. After everything you've seen today, it's hard to deny the HTC Flyer is one of the best tablets on the market. It just needs a better camera and uh, maybe a larger screen, especially for the Wi-Fi only model, but we're getting that HTC Evo view for the Sprint customers who are the lucky ones. For the full HTC Flyer review, go to infosyncworld.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Perlman.